a little red yeah, light. Yeah, so yeah. So you basically have a plate with a pivot that you put bits in. And I'll just get in here and this is this this plate is on a pivot and you put bits in there. It's got uh, anti-slip paper and in because of the size constraint, the pedals, the brake and the accelerator be moved to the right a little bit. Um, requires a fairly big car because of again because of the size, but when, when just going from lane to lane, you just move the with your heel on the back here, move it, move your whole foot from about 11 o'clock position to one o'clock position. But when you're going around corners, where you've got to really turn the wheel a number of times, you lift the foot up, take the heel off the plate, and just and your toes on the pivot, and you use that as a driving point to rotate the wheel backwards and forwards. Oh, and these little. Um, Connectors here are just a safety thing where there's a there's actually a configured plate you can put out, take this off the shoe off and then put a plate over here to cover it all up in the event somebody else wants to uh, drive the car because you can still use the steering wheel and this starts stops people from putting their foot on the on this disc which will be rotating when somebody's driving with their hands so it's just a safety device for uh, to, for safety approval but normally I drive it so I just keep this connected and this this comes off very easily from Behind there's a little lock nut that you can just squeeze and pops off, so it can be it could be taken off uh, very easily. Um, so I start up, put on the wheel. And you'll notice the um, wide mirror here. It's a multi-faceted mirror, which um, enables me to see about 180 degrees around a car without rotating the body, which which is a really good thing. Uh, okay. This little box here is an indicator, left, right, cancel for indicator buttons. And this is the horn uh, option button here. Mm. Uh, and then the, the indicators work by left and right. And it's just a use um, the sound from sound waves uh, frequencies. And uh, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just drive around the block a bit and give you an idea of how it works. I have to concentrate on driving as well, so. Yeah, so. So, as you see, it's, it's getting... It's on a one-to-one -one ratio, so, so it, it's very, uh, very easy to drive. It's been power boosted on the, on the automatic um, steering so that it, the effort required to rotate is, um, you know, uh, fairly straight, fairly easy to do uh, without getting too fatigued. Um, the legs pretty strong too, but it's um, it's a compromise between the feel of the road and making the, the boost uh, too high. Um, so try to sort of balance that, and it actually worked out quite well. But you can see that it's a one-to-one -one ratio and the steering wheel will also turn because they're both connected and this means that anybody else can drive it with their hands. For people who have driven a car before with hands but are now longer, no longer able to, when they start um, driving with their foot, I would recommend that they actually sit on their hands as the impulse to grab the wheel. <laughs> actually my friend did that when I had one before. But, um, so when you're driving on a free on a freeway or in faster traffic, you do basically just just turn the wheel from about 10 to 11, and that gets you sufficiently to go around corners and also change lanes. So and that's with with a foot completely on the ground. And again, you saw when I go around curves, I actually lift the heel off the, the plate and uh, use the ball of my foot, which is on the pivot underneath that shoe, to actually turn the turn the wheel uh, complete turn. So. Does it so it works amazingly well. I think there's a lot of credit given to uh, the bill for coming up with the design. It's really, uh, certainly done a lot for me, and I really do appreciate that. I'll just park in the driveway here.
and there's, there's a fair degree of control and, and it's uh, quite, quite safe. <laughs>